that's, that's understandable. Uh, you, can, you can always use them if you have to. Two days into the mission, an oxygen tank exploded in the command service module. The crew faced the prospect of slow suffocation. At, uh, 141 hours, 30 minutes, ground the last time. Right by the high gate antenna, the whole panel was thrown out, almost from the uh, base to the uh, engine. But using the reserves of oxygen in the lunar module, and with that module as their lifeboat, they were able to return safely to Earth. January 1971, Apollo 14, the first manned landing in and exploration of the lunar highlands. More firsts, Apollo 15, June 1971. The crew carried eight scientific experiments in a section of the command module. They also made good use of the lunar rover for the first time. Well, I'm going to have to keep my eye on the road. Boy, there's just really rolling hills, Joe. Just like 14. Up and down we go. Uh, it feels like we need to see Yeah, really do. March 1972, Apollo 16. The astronauts landed in the Descartes Highlands. They covered more than 16 miles in the lunar rover, collecting rock samples and setting up scientific instruments. Nine months later, Apollo 17, the last of the Apollo flights. Astronauts landed in the moon's Taurus mountain region. Using the lunar rover, they gathered 243 pounds of lunar samples. Apollo sent a dozen Americans to rove the surface of the moon and 15 others to fly into the grasp of its one-sixth gravity. They took the measure of the moon and in so doing took the measure of themselves and demonstrated the human potential. They brought back rocks, but as Mike Collins later told a joint session of Congress, it's a fair trade, for just as the Rosetta Stone revealed the language of ancient Egypt, so may these rocks unlock the mystery of the origin of the moon, and indeed even of our Earth and solar system. Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. Their journeys have ended, but ours have barely begun. They connect us, inspire us, and help us soar.
We're getting our first images. Preparing the line Mars up. Rover has collected a lot of Morning, Metro. You're not going to believe what they're placing on the surface of Let Mars. Let me send it to you off my phone. When we get back, we're going to be taking calls to get your reaction on the latest Wow, Mars. that's really neat. Did you see that? The Mars rover touched down at 10.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this morning. NASA. Forever forward. Moments. They connect us.